Hello value viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the MiG-29A and we're looking at air-to-ground rockets and guns. In terms of rockets, they can be on stations 1, 2, 3 and 4 and they always have to be in pairs today. Uh, I'm going to have 1 and 2 as these. S-24B, a 240mm diameter rocket with a high explosive frag warhead, two of those. And we're going to have pods on 3 and four and they are going to be either warhead high explosive anti-tank multi-purpose penetrator or orange smoke and we're going to have high explosive that's 20 80 mil rockets per pod we also have the cannon an internal 30 mil single barrel auto cannon which can have these ammo types here i will just leave it on the basic semi armor piercing in terms of controls, very simply, we just need to fire the rockets, missile, trigger, fire, push and hold for multiple rockets from a single pod. When we're going to be using the designation method, we'll be pushing and holding the lock on button there. When firing the cannon, gun trigger first detent, push and hold will put us in guns mode and to actually fire, we'll have second detent. Finally, to change between the weapon types, we'll have external store switch outboard and inboard. In the cockpit we need to make sure our master arm is armed here. We have two modes that we can use, OPT or Boresight and I suggest always using OPT and that's what we're going to be using today. There are two methods we can use, CCIP and CCIP with pre-designation. First we're going to show CCIP without designation, it's much simpler and to be honest I suggest you always use it. A quick look at the HUD. Our selected weapon type is here, currently the 240s. If I were to press the outboard switch, we've got the C8, the 80mm diameter. In each case, we have our computed slant range here in nautical miles. So at that point on the terrain, where our dot is showing is 5 point something miles away, the slant range is very much estimated. To make it accurate, we have to either turn on or wait until the laser ranger turns itself on. When that happens, a Cyrillic A will show here. At that point, we know laser range finding is on, and this here will be a more accurate slant range. On the slant range, we have two marks, maximum range of our weapon and the minimum range of our weapon, and obviously we want to fire between them. When approaching the target and our arrow here, our slant range gets between the max and the minimum, an audio tone will sound, and that is obviously our cue to shoot. We have a reticle here with our dot in the center, it's simply going to be a case with CCIP of putting the dot on the target and firing when we have laser range finding and we are between our max and our min. Otherwise, basic flight instruments, we just have our attitude indicator here, our accelerometer and our airspeed here, and our altitude in feet because I have set my cockpit to Imperial. In terms of CCIP, we are going to unpause. We're going to dive on the target from ideally above 10,000 feet. A speed between 400 and 500 knots ideally. Make sure that we are wings level as possible and trim ourselves to be comfortable. We're going to put the reticle on the target, which is going to be in the center of the cross. We can see that laser range finding has already turned itself on quite high up, over five miles, which is uh, useful. If it hadn't turned itself on, and sometimes it doesn't, press target acquisition symbol depress to turn it on. Press it again to turn it off. Note, there is a 30 second cooldown time between turning it off and being allowed to start it up again. So you can't turn it off and on and off and on. Pretty simple otherwise, right? We're gonna dive on the target, put the pipper on the target, wait until we're within the firing parameters, check our laser is on, which it is, push and hold, missile fire, and the weapons will release. There's only two and they will fire at the same time the C-24s, and it should be pretty accurate. Nothing is perfectly accurate. This, this sim is modeled pretty well. It will not take into account wind speed. You will need to do that yourself or vehicle movement. And tone fire. Follow the missiles. Follow the rockets, sorry. Oh, that's pretty good, to be honest. About as accurate as you're going to get. We're going to restart now. We're going to do the CCIP mode with pre-designation. We do this because the real fulcrum will have more errors in its calculation of the targeting system than the sim version does and so you may need to shore up your accuracy a bit more and that's why we may want to use pre-designation so we're going to opt make sure our master arm is on dive towards target with pre-designation you need to make sure you dive from a high altitude because you will need lots of time to do the things that you need to do what we're going to do first 
is pre-designate the target area. We've got the laser ranger finder on because you can see Cyrillic A, so there's a lot going on at the moment. On the left, if that wasn't on, do put it on. We're going to put the reticle over the target as best we can. We're then going to push and hold lock on. While holding lock on, the reticle will become an aiming mark. Put the aiming mark on the target and then once the laser ranger is on, which in this case it already happens, it is release lock on. That has done our pre-calibration for our sensors. At that point, our aiming mark will disappear, our reticle will reappear between 1 and 10 seconds we have at that point, and that's very important, between 1 and 10 seconds, to remove our reticle onto the target perfectly, and then press missile fire to fire. Why have we done all that weird stuff? It's to increase the calibration and accuracy of the sensors, so that at least in real life, the calculations being done for the CCIP would be more accurate. I'm going to unpause, I'm going to trim myself out, I'm going to press lock on there. I'm going to move my aiming mark onto the target, I'm going to wait until laser ranger is on, which it is, so I can unpress it there as best I can. We now have one to ten seconds to move our guy onto the target and wait, it shows how hard this is to do to get everything to work perfectly. Wait for the tone, then fire the rocket. Boom. Again, that's about as accurate as you're going to get. So when it comes to undulating terrain, it may be that you need to do that stuff to get it accurate in terms of the calculation of the aiming point. Finally, in terms of rockets, if I would go to my outboard, uh, just to show you what it looks like, push and hold, release the trigger, push and hold, so we can fire as many of the 80mm rockets as we want the duration of the push and hold. Then finally, cannon, which is super simple. We're going to change to OPT again. Make sure master arm is on. We need to tell the cannon we're going to air to ground mode. So down here, instead of air, which is standard, we're going to go down to ground. And otherwise, we're going to line up on the target like we did. Laser Ranger has already turned itself on, which is super nice of it. Again, you may have to turn it on manually, which is why I keep reiterating it. What we're going to do at this point on our ingress is to push and hold the trigger first detent puts us into gun mode, then move the calculated reticle onto the target, and otherwise it's like before. Laser range finder's going, that's great. Wait until we get in range, which is going to be less than a mile. But the auto cannon, push and hold to fire as many rounds as we want. On the bottom right is the amount of ammo we've got in quarters. We have four quarters of ammo. Let's hope I've spooned it. <laughs> I did. Well, there you go. It is accurate. I just aimed slightly left because there's a bit of wind or something. But uh, one more important thing to say is, so far with the rockets and the gun, I've shown firing them only when the tone is firing. You don't have to wait until the tone. You can lob them from further away if you want, but this is to get the absolute optimum accuracy, he says, as he just missed an APC here. Anyway, that's what we've got to show at the moment. I hope that was useful and bye-bye.